Alright, I'm about to do my first cut with my CNC converted uh, G0704 mill. Uh, I've been kind of going off of Haas's plans and also following Mr. Ballistic on this on YouTube. Um, I'll sh just show off some of the things I've done. Um, when I first got the mill, I built this x-axis mount uh, using aluminum. And I just decided to use a 3D printer just because it was easier to make the spacers here. And eventually I'll convert this to aluminum. Uh, the bearing holder here is, is a little bit flimsy um, for the mill, but I also made a spacer for the Y. And similarly up here for the Z, I made some spacers. Uh, the, the motors are from Keeling. Um, and also I, I got some connectors. I made some... Uh, covers for the back so I could have a nice clean appearance. So I'm still getting stuff going here, um, but everything's connected over here to the computer which is running EMC2. And right now I have a little, a simple part to cut. I figured it'd be a nice easy test piece and I do have to make it for a friend. So hopefully everything will, will go smoothly. I, I haven't cut anything with the CNC before so I'm hoping, hoping that everything will go smoothly. Alright, we'll see how it goes. So I'm using the Tormach TTS system for the tools. So I was using a 2.5mm uh, drill bit, and now I'm switching over to a, a quarter inch end mill. Um, I, I hope I have the feed set right for the polycarbon. I'm not really sure what to do, but um, <laughs> how to set that correctly. But hopefully it'll work. And, and these already have preset heights that I set in, um, in EMC2. And they just go in very nicely. Then I just have to tighten it up at the top. So I set it at just over a thousand RPM. Hopefully that won't melt the polycarbonate. But now that I set the tool, go ahead and click on continue. And hopefully everything will work out. So here's the, uh, the animation showing where the bit is at. And every pass it goes down two millimeters, so I'm just trying to be a little bit careful since I'm, I'm new to CNC stuff. So it just has a couple more passes to go. So I definitely should have clamped it a little bit better or used, I should have used a bigger part because then it started to uh, make a little bit of clatter over here and started vibrating. So, but that's, that's pretty much it. It looks like it made some pretty nice chips too. So I'm guessing that the, the speed and everything is pretty good. And the finish is okay. It's hard to see from my phone. Um, I guess the only other downside is the, the resolution of the part. Um, I was kind of stuck with the, the DXF file resolution. Um, you kind of see the, the low resolution there, how it's a little bit sharp around the edges. Um, I was hoping for a perfect circle, but oh well. But yeah, it looks like it was pretty good. Definitely have some things to improve upon, but uh, I think it's pretty good for a first mill. All right, I'm about to do my second run of the mill. Um, I went ahead and I kind of I took the whole G code and I removed all the coordinates, and then I kind of added my own things, and then I also did uh, some G code to do some chamfering. Um, so hopefully it'll work out. Um, and also, I because I removed all the coordinates of the DXF, I was able to use codes, uh, the code G03, uh, to make very nice arcs. So I won't have those harsh lines. Um, so hopefully this will work out and have all my tools set up. So all I have to do is just run EMC 
and hopefully everything will work out. But first off, I'm going to start with um, my TTS tool holder holding a two and a half millimeter drill bit, and then I'll move up, move over to the end mill, and that's pretty much it. All right, I'll go ahead and put this in and get the program started. So I'm doing the same RPM as last time for the polycarbonate. I have everything all set up. And I have tool 2 inserted, so I just click on continue. Hopefully everything will work out. So that three second pause in there, that's actually, it's supposed to shut off the spindle, but I don't have a way to turn it on or off right now. All I have is an emergency stop hooked up. So now I have to insert tool number one. And for me, that is a quarter inch end mill, again in a TTS tool holder um, that has an ER20 collet. So I'll go ahead and throw this in. All right, so there's the quarter inch end mill. Same RPM, I don't know what else to set it at. Um, and here we go, click on continue. It looks like at this speed it makes some pretty nice chips. I don't know if it should be faster or not. But there's the bit on the simulation showing the cuts that it's making. So writing my own G code worked out a lot better than just going off the DXF, and it was it was really really easy too. It only took one line of code to make that full arc. So. Um, I'll, I'll probably definitely be modifying some, um, especially like 2D milling programs, to, to do better circles on my own. Um, so right now I've loaded in the, uh, let's see if I can focus on that, there we go, my, my chamfering end mill, again in, an, T, in a, an ER20 call it holder for the TTS system. So I'll just go ahead and turn it on. Oops. So again, same RPM, just because I don't know what to set it at. And for me, that was tool three, so now I'm good to go. <laughs> so it looks like I made it so that it would not hit the edge. <laughs> so I'll have to do a quick a quick fix on that in the G code. All right. All right. So I found out where I needed to change things, and I realized that I made I added one millimeter to this number rather than subtracting. Um, so all I have to do is change that to a two, and same thing with the code right below that draws the arc. Oops. I can do this. It's hard to type and hold a camera. Alright. There, and then finally this. Alright, so that'll, that should draw me the arc hopefully correctly. So I'll go ahead and save the program, and in here I'm just going to reload it. Okay. So I reloaded it. Um, now what I'm just going to do is just run the mill again up to the up to the point where it asked me to put in tool three um, and then I'll actually insert tool three but I won't insert any of the other tools yet I'll just look, kinda let it cycle through I, I don't know really how to use the program completely correctly yet so this is my only the only way that I know how to fix it so maybe in the future I'll get better 
All right, so that finished it up, and it's going to be really hard to see on here, but there's just a slight bevel on the uh, on the part there. And I also had it do, I tried to do a little bit lighter bevel there, um, but it turns out it's, it's clamped a little bit unevenly. So this hole over here is a little bit smaller than this hole right there. So, but now I'm back to the quarter inch end mill, which will hopefully cut through the rest of the part. So, hopefully this works out. I'll go ahead and turn on, oops, go and turn on this. And that should do it. So the part's all done, it cut through, I think it cut through a little bit too much, so I'll just have to probably clamp it a little bit better. I, I think the, the the way that it's clamped right now with the, tube, the piece of wood underneath, it's, it's a little bit uneven, so it cut through on one side before it did the other, so it may not work out as well as I had hoped, but here we go. So the edge is about the same, I was hoping that there would be a difference between conventional and climbing milling, um, but maybe it's, maybe it's just my speeds and everything, um, but it looks pretty good. So here's the part. Um, this is a good edge. The other, the other side didn't turn out as good, uh, but over here it, it turned out a little bit cleaner. So yeah, worked out pretty well.